Hi, my name is Shani Cole and welcome to my channel. I typically do videos about handbags and related things like shopping, but when I go somewhere cool, I like to do a vacation travel video and that's what today's video is all about. It is a, about my trip to Curacao on my honeymoon. I had a wonderful trip. We went to Sandals Royal Curacao. This was my first time at Curacao, but not my first time at Sandals. I've been to five or six other Sandals property, but I'm just gonna let you know right out the gate, this one is my favorite by far. Barbados was a close second. It was my favorite until I went to Curacao. Curacao is a beautiful island and this resort is absolutely beautiful. We flew from DC to Miami, then from Miami to Curacao. We arrived at the Curacao airport. It was very clean and organized. We got our bags and we went to the sandals desk. There's not a lounge like in Jamaica, but it's pretty nice. Then they give your bags to these porters who do want a tip. This is the first time I've ever seen this at a sandals resort. And then you get on the bus and head to the resort. Now, a lot of people in previous videos that I watched before coming to this trip complained about the ride being 40 minutes from the airport to the resort. Yes, it's about a 30 to 4 minute ride, but I loved it. It was like a little mini tour of the island of Curacao. You go, you go across their huge bridge, you get to see the city, you get to see Punda, you get to see Ochobanda, you get to see different parts of the country, which I absolutely love. And it's like a free excursion on your way to the resort. But I know everybody wants to hurry up and start their vacation by getting to the resort. But this is an absolutely beautiful country and you should definitely take it in. Now this video is primarily going to be about the resort, but I'm going to talk about the country a little bit more. So when you first arrive at Sandals, there's this beautiful fountain and then you see this beautiful Chi Chi doll. The resort is in like this secluded golfing community of like condominiums and other resorts. It's very off from the rest of the island, which I liked. Um, you definitely have privacy and you definitely feel safe and secure. You feel safe and secure all over this island. Once you get off the bus, you go into Club Sandals. We were given a drink. It was absolutely delicious. And then we checked right on in. Here are the ingredients from the drink because I would definitely try to recreate it. It was so tasty. Next, we checked into our room and we were in the Scooby Club level walkout patio tranquility tub. That was our room. It wasn't our first room. This was actually the second room we got. We booked a different club level room, but when I saw it, I didn't like it. It was just too small. But they kindly moved us to this room. I'm gonna give you a quick little room tour because I know everybody likes the rooms. When we booked this, because it was our honeymoon, we did want a butler, but all the butler rooms are were taken. And I don't think this is the type of resort where you need a butler. You can definitely do club and still have a great time, but I would not do luxury. I would definitely do club. The ladies and gentlemen in the club sandals area, they do a great job. They do a lot of activities, especially for honeymooners. That's why I think this is the number one honeymoon destination. I didn't get a lot of clips of the honeymoon activities because I wanted to, you know, respect people's privacy. But they do like where they give you roses, a photo shoot. They had us a happy hour. They just really cater to honeymooners, and I appreciate that since I was on my honeymoon. But this is the basic Sandals Club room. The rooms are new, really, newly renovated. Um, you get your liquor, you get your drinks, you get your robes. You do not get slippers. I'm glad I brought mine because the floors are marble. They do get a little cold or there's some kind of hard towel. And so they do get cold, so you might want to bring your slippers. The bed was pretty brand new. Um, I like this room too than the room we booked because we only had two drawers in that room and this one you get four. I think we had the one on the top level, we did have the walkout. So if you want more drawer space and more overall room space, because rooms are not that big. Um, they're big enough and they're comfortable, but they're not big compared to some other resorts I've stayed at, especially in Mexico where you get huge rooms. But the room is very nicely decorated. It has a very coastal type modern um, feel to it. I love these little chairs. We would sit here and eat our room service. You could put your little tray on there. The bed was new and it was a canopy type bed. The mattress was a little hard. <laughs> My husband didn't like it, but we may do. I think this is the number one honeymoon location. It's the best sandals I've been to. Like I said, I've been to five sandals and obviously the main thing that's great about this resort is the pools. The two a double infinity pool. I forgot the name. Dos. I forgot the name they called it, but the double infinity pool is absolutely amazing. It's so comfortable. It's right on the edge of the beach. And there's so many nooks and crannies to this beautiful resort that you can just do so much and you can do absolutely nothing. It's your choice. 
they had so much entertainment during the day at the pool. They had these beautiful ladies come that they did synchronized swimming. I had never seen synchronized swimming live. This was just so entertaining. Everybody just stopped what they're doing and was completely mesmerized by these ladies. They also did daily trivia games, DJs. They, it was a lot. The only negative I would say about the pool is the bartending service. It's not slow, but it's not very good. You know, they. I, we went Thanksgiving of 2022, that week of Thanksgiving, and you know, the resort had only been open for a couple of months, and you could tell that they were still working out the kinks with the drinks at some of the bars, some of the, if you go to Sandals and you have like some favorites like the Miami Vice, the Purple Rain, the Dirty Banana, they're still learning how to master those drinks, so just be cognizant, but they're not bad, and if you don't like it, they clearly will make you something else, or they'll, you know, they'll find something to drink. There was no problem with that. They also had foam parties. There was a quiet pool to the right of the big in two infinity pools. I thought I got a video of it, but unfortunately I can't find it. Um, it's not very quiet to me because it's right next to the loud two infinity pools, but it's more relaxed and serene. And they do have a bar over there. They also have cabanas you can rent. There's also so many nooks and crannies. There's a hot tub next to the infinity pools, but there's these little bitty hot tubs that are weaved down in between the area between the two pools, the two large pools and the beach. And there's one hot tub that's kind of nuke warm. And then there's one that's like piping hot. I love a hot tub, so I love the piping hot one. Let's talk about the inside of the resort. The inside of the resort is absolutely gorgeous, just like the outside. They have this beautiful open lobby with a full bar, and they do do entertainment in here when it rains. The lobby looks out over the double infinity pool. To the right of the lobby, you have your loyalty desks, your club sandals, and photos, uh, where you buy your photos. And to the left, they have some ballrooms and some little open areas where they do things like wine tasting and, and other club sandals events. Then we move into the outside area. The outside area is so beautiful. They were still working on it when we were there. They were installing speakers around this green area and they got it done within a day. And here are the little um, cabanas or bungalows. I don't know what they call the really expensive butler rooms. One of my favorite things was the bicycles. Then they have this paddle board game I actually played and I beat my husband on my first time trying. It was really fun. As you see in this picture, the clouds were kind of dark. It did rain at least 80% of the time we were there for eight days. It rained, I guess I would say six of the eight days. Now moving on to the beach area. The beach area was really nice. I didn't spend a lot of beach time. I'm not a beach person. And I would say it's one of the better beaches of sandals I've been to. It's not the best, but it was okay. It's very long, but it is in a canal. So it has this bridge that you can walk on that moves. It kind of sways back and forth but it, you can walk it and it's very nice and long. There's plenty of seating. There's a restaurant out there. There's a bar. You have plenty of little, not only chairs, but these little cocoon things I could call them. And then you have your beautiful water. It was clear. You can see all the fishes inside. Very nice beach, nothing to complain about. They also have a dive shop. I know I've heard mixed reviews about the dive shop. I'm not a diver. I just thought I would give you a little bit of information on it it was fully staffed they only thing i used the dive shop was for to blow up my um my pool inflatables and they did that really quickly and brought them back to me my favorite activity at this resort was riding the bikes it was so much fun we rode the bikes at least four or five days that we were there i did fall off one day the blue bikes are for men the white bikes are for females they're located throughout just grab one and go for a ride we decided one day to walk the other end, the end that's opposite to the beach. And I believe this area is where they have like the melee, melee, I don't know, I hope I'm saying that correctly, bungalows. This part of the resort is very, very quiet. All the buildings are one story. You can see it is towards the front side of the resort. And one thing you should know, they're gonna be expanding this. So when you come in, you have the side that's closest to the beach. And then you have like a side that's upper area, it's like a hill area. And Sandals owns that too. And I was told by the loyalty desk that they were gonna be constructing more rooms up on the hilltop area. So I guess it's gonna be kind of like Ochi, where Ochi has like the butler level up on the high top. And then you have the areas down by the beach. Anyway, these bungalows were so cute. I wanted to stay in one of those, but these rooms were booked. We did book them for our return stay in two years because I will be coming back to Sandals World Curacao, but there's just so many nooks and crannies 
of this resort that you could just take time to just walk and enjoy and just, you know, have fun with the people you're there with and your loved ones. They have this little hut out there. I'm assuming they use these for massages because they have massage beds in it and it faces out to the golf course and the water. Now this is the part of the resort where it's not swimmable, but I would imagine it's so tranquil and peaceful to hear the ocean waves and sit in this little bungalow or lay down in this little bungalow or hut and get a beautiful massage, a nice, you know, relaxing time. Around the bungalows, they also have a very quiet pool. Now this is not the large quiet pool. This is another little pool that has a beautiful view of the water. Um, there's no bar here, there's no service here, but some of the rooms back in this area are butler, so I'm assuming you can bring your cooler. I love these little heart-shaped beds. They're very, very pretty. You can see it has water in it because it had rain, but there's so many places just to enjoy. This is the golf section. Now, I was told golf was not included, but there is a golf course right there, and tons of people were taking advantage of the golfing. These are the little houses that are a part of the heart, around the heart pool. They were very small. And I just want to show you how it lights up at night where you can just sit on the beach. They have a lot of fireplaces and seating. So you can just have a good time with a glass of wine or a cocktail and your loved one. Next, we're going to talk about the entertainment. The entertainment is absolutely phenomenal. Every night, acrobatics, a fire show, singing, dancing, I was told that they pulled the best of the best staff from all their resorts to, you know, provide the entertainment here at Sandals Royal Curacao, and you can tell. They do a phenomenal job. All the shows are located down on the beach, unless it rains, and then they have them up in the lobby area. I was so entertained every night. Now, I will say this. A lot of people complain because they said, oh, you have to pay to see the show. You do not have to pay to see the show. What it is, is during the day, they come around, the entertainment staff, and ask if you would like to purchase a bottle of wine for a preferred seat at the show. And we bought wine all the nights that we went to see the show. They have wine bottles ranging from $20 all the way up to hundreds of dollars. We bought the $20 bottle because I don't really drink a lot of I don't really drink a lot of wine when I'm on vacation. I like wine, but I don't drink it on vacation. I like my cocktails. So we would buy that $20 wine so we could have premium seating to see all the shows, and it's worth it. Here's one night they had the shows indoors in the lobby, and they tore the house down. They walked around. They had everybody engaged, everybody singing, dancing. It was just the entertainment staff really... You know, sometimes sandals can be a little bit, you know, boring as, for, as far as entertainment compared to like some of your resorts in like Mexico and other locations. Royal Curacao, you can get both relaxation and party and entertainment all in one. It's just amazing. The World Cup was going on while we were there and they did not, because this location does not have a bar or a tavern or crickets. So they did set up one of their ballrooms for people to go and watch the World Cup. When I walked by, nobody was ever in there. So many people were complaining about wanting to see the World Cup, and you could. Now I want to talk about the excursions. So we rented a car, and I, I'm not going to say the name. Yes, I am. I'm going to be transparent. We rented a car from Carson's Car Service. Um, the, she quoted me a price before we left the States, and when we got to Curacao, it was a different price. So I would not recommend them, but I would recommend you renting a car. It's absolutely easy. Um, we went, it was raining in the morning, but by the time we got downtown, Kyrgyzstan it was absolutely beautiful. We went and parked, I believe we parked on the Punda side, and then we walked across the bridge to the Ultra Banda side. And the city is so beautiful, colorful, safe, lively, fun. All the good adjectives I could find. We did bring our lock with us and we did add our lock to the hearts. We put it in there with our wedding date on there. We had it made before we came and then we threw away the key. And I have all my orange and yellow representing Curacao. And here's our lock and I hope it'll be there forever. Just something special that me and my husband decided to do. Now when we got done touring downtown, we decided to take in some more sites. And this is the beautiful Queen, I believe it's called the Queen Anne's Bridge. When we went on our ATV trip, we rode across it. But look how beautiful this city is. 
Our next stop with the car was to the Slave Museum. It is just absolutely beautiful. When you look at this sculpture to the front, it looks like a human being. And then when you turn, it's actually Africa. So the Slave Museum is really, really nice. It's worth an hour or two of your time. You learn a lot. I'm not gonna show a lot of it because I really think you should take advantage of it. We bought our tickets on TripAdvisor and we showed our barcode and went in no problem. The people there, they were doing construction, but the lovely ladies running it, they were very nice and kind. You can do a guided tour or you can do on your own, and we did on our own. Our next stop was the Curacao Distillery, the liquor distillery, because I wanted to know about Curacao, the liquor. And this was probably one of my favorite parts of the vacation. The tour was included with our ticket, also bought on TripAdvisor. They tell you how they make the Curacao. They uh, show you all the processes, let you go through their warehouse. They also make this product there called Glacier, um, a Glacier, I don't know what it's called, I'm so sorry, but it's like for when you get bug bites and like ointments and stuff. You also get two drinks from the bar. Next we went to like the art studio slash farm where they make the famous Chi Chi dolls. I was so obsessed with these dolls. The farm we went to is actually the one that made the Chi Chi doll that's outside of Royal Sandals Curacao. They have local artisans that make the Chi Chi dolls and they're absolutely gorgeous. It was the one souvenir that I definitely wanted to take home. When you go here, you can do workshops. They have the ladies that are making them in the back, but they also do workshops on certain days where you can come and paint your own Chi Chi doll and get instructions. I didn't have time for that because we only had the car for one day, so I really wanted to fit in as much as possible. So I just picked out one that was already pre-painted. I got one in blue and yellow and black that matched the colors of Curacao. This location is somewhere off the beaten path. It's not far from Royal Curacao, but it's not far from it's but it's kind of far from downtown, but it's worth a stop. I would definitely recommend it. So the best excursion ever, not just in Curacao, I've ever I've been on was in Curacao. We did the half day ATV tours. You get to ride across the bridge, you see the flamingos, you see the windmills, you get to ride through downtown and the cities and the neighborhoods. You get to explore the island all for half a day. Don't do the whole day. The whole day, oh my God, I couldn't sit on that thing for the whole day. You get to go into a slave cave. It's just amazing. I'm gonna stop talking and let you just enjoy some of the music created by the tour guide. rock and roll the cave was absolutely amazing now let's talk about the food and drinks because there's a lot of mixed reviews about it first off bring your own cup yeti cup sal cup my favorite eating for lunch was the food trucks i preferred the asian and the seafood one the best the curry was really really good the seating is nice the only bad part about it you have obviously a gorgeous view is the flies there's so many flies at by the time we were like on our third or fourth day we just get our food truck stuff to go my favorite restaurant for dinner was gatsu gatsu it's the asian restaurant the sushi was so good but i love this little thing where you get to cook your meat on this heated cement it was absolutely amazing so i'm going to just insert some pictures and give you my overall review of the food room service was basic but very delicious uh, aside from Gatsu Gatsu, we love Butch's. Butch's had the best cocktails. I think that's because their head bartender is Alicia and she is from Jamaica. We went to Butch's twice. No problems getting a reservation. We actually went there for Thanksgiving dinner. Here's the Thanksgiving menu, but we decided to have steak and lobster, which was absolutely delicious and tasty. We tried all the restaurants. My least favorite probably was the Italian restaurant. It, it, yeah, it wasn't very good to me. My least favorite breakfast location, I didn't have a least favorite breakfast. The buffet and the other location that they serve breakfast were very, very good. But just remember, if you're eating outside, the flies are just so bad. But overall, I would give the food a B plus. I'd give the drinks a C. They still have some kinks to work out with the food, but it's not bad. It's just not at the sandals level. Here are a few more pictures. And you guys, that concludes my overall review of Sandals Royal Curacao. If you have any questions about it, please leave them in the comment section down below. 
I will gladly, here we are dancing on the 360. I will gladly answer them and I hope you decide to go to Royal Curacao. It's an amazing location. Definitely the number one honeymoon spot, I think, out of all the sandals. We had an amazing time. Me and my husband can't wait to go back. And it's definitely a place of love and I love this resort. Thank you so much for watching. Until the next video, be safe and be happy. Bye now.